past uh, two years, like um, I'm not the best person to talk about this because uh, I'm given a series of opportunities that shorten the, the time of my my uh, study. But in terms of knowledge, in terms of knowledge itself, and in terms of the understanding, and in terms of experience, I'm not any better than the others. And um, yeah, I have my friends who graduated graduated, uh, graduated with me. But I believe he's much more um, have more experience and uh, much more knowledgeable than me. So, what is it? Should I start with the presentation? Oh. Yeah, go ahead. So today I would like to, I think it's three by one. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one, I think it's the first time by by any jam is being done openly. Yeah. So it's good. <laughs> Quite a moment. So my supervisor is Professor Tanuja Fijin. She is one of the experts uh, in, in, especially in, in the field of laser in Malaysia. So she has a lot of uh, PhD students. Uh, one of them is me, I think about 30 plus students uh, PhD. And my thesis title is an optimization. So it's basically my, my topic. So, uh, introduction. Laser has revolutionized the material manufacturing industry by providing alternative for processes such as cutting, uh, drilling, or marking, engraving, and surface modification. Surface modification, particularly, is a, is a process uh, that we aim to, to modify a thin layer surface of a material so that we can improve we can uh, improve the surface independent properties of that material. Best example is aluminium. Uh, aluminium poses a uh, lightweight, um, so it is cheap. And but the only drawback for aluminium to be used as much as steel that have been used in, in heavy heavy material, uh, I believe, in, in industry, is because of its poor surface hardness. So by surface modification, we can engineer the surface of aluminium so that we can increase, we can improve the surface hardness of it, so that it can be used as much as steel. But uh, by this process, we can retain the original pro uh, properties of aluminium. So it's still light uh, in weight and it's uh, still uh, low cost. So by this process, what of uh, properties can be tailored from the uh, where resistance we can mod uh, modify the corrosion resistance, the surface hardness, and weightability and everything. So one of the most promising uh, technique under the category of um, face modification is actually actually laser surface alloying where we use laser <coughs> to, to alloy a surface of materials. So previous work uh, on so this is problem statement. Previous work on laser surface alloying they have uh, I think is extensively uh, researched area. So they have used different types of laser. They have used different alloying elements and also they have. Uh, they have improved several properties into into what into such a level. So, but the industrial application of this process is surprisingly small. So the reason of this is being researched from my reading, from my uh, literature survey. I found out there are two, um, I mean, two reasons that uh, that um, lack that are lacking in the process of laser surface line. The first is um, simultaneous optimization of different processing parameters and the predictability of the process and also um, I can see from here <laughs> uh, and so the second is very limited process monitoring so if we have, we we are to to to, <coughs> to, what we call it, to do the process in large scale we need to have a process monitoring system whereby the the process uh, process per, uh, Processing parameters can be uh, simultaneously feed back into the, the control system. So they are, these are the two, um, I think, the two reasons that lacking in laser surface alloying. So in my thesis, I'm trying to to find a solution for this uh, lacking, for this problem. So the objective of my thesis is actually. Uh, Yeah, 
Okay. Um, so the objective is to to identify the mechanism, the physics behind the laser logging process, and by using the switch and the laser, and secondly to be able to monitor the, the whole process uh, in situ or in an online process, uh, online time. So under this category, we have three more uh, sub objective. We have, uh, we have uh, to characterize the laser surface loying with uh, ferrum, aluminum with ferrum, yeah, single exposure, and uh, dependency, uh, dependency of laser energy and also protein thickness. So secondly is to analyze uh, the plasma emission on alloyed aluminum via leaf system, laser in display spectroscopy, and last to monitor and to optimize the protein thickness in this system. So this is the literature uh, review or survey that, have, uh, that I have done before starting uh, my research. So. We start from the overview of the laser surface flowing. What is the laser surface flowing? What is the process that I'm going to deal with uh, in, in my research? The overview, the, the type of the implementation of laser surface flowing. And secondly, is the previous works on, on the variation of the coating thickness. And, and so the last is the previous portion of three, the laser surface flowing that have been proposed before. So laser surface flowing, uh, I think it's just brief. I think the time given to me is very short, so I just give this. So this is basically, basically the past research in laser surface alloying in aluminium, uh, especially since uh, 18, uh, 1981. So I read all the papers from 1981 and I write it down in, in a table. So I basically I divide it into which laser that they used, uh, which time of, uh, type of aluminium that they use as a substrate, which alloying element that are uh, they, they're going to introduce into the surface of that material and also the properties of interest in their study. So this is it's quite uh, extensive, it's extensively researched area until 2014 we have uh, papers, but they are using newer laser and newer uh, alloying element to be embedded in this form. So the, what is lacking uh, in, in the, based on my reading, so they are lacking uh, of variation of the coating thickness uh, in laser surface alloying process. So previous research, they just put uh, the, the thickness, they set the thickness at certain level, and they never um, vary it. So what I did, I vary the ferrum coating on top of aluminum from 110 micron up to 180 micron by powder spray coating. So this is one of the new things that that I, I try to um, look into, uh, the effect of the coating thickness into the, the final quality of the line itself. So process monitoring in the uh, laser surface line, there are a few uh, process monitoring that have been proposed in laser surface line. It is important to have a process monitoring because in laser surface line, the, the, all the parameters that we are we, we set into the system, we need to uh, to have a feedback control system into the, the original control. So uh, especially for large application, uh, large scale application. So some of them using uh, process control computer system based on fuzzy logic algorithm, and some of them using uh, optimization using X-ray imaging. But this one is very expensive because it uh, and it have a safety measure because it uh, it uses X-ray. And lastly, is it they they develop a simple and low cost process monitoring by using uh, photodiode. But this one is very simple and uh, less information can be retrieved from that. So this is the the research that have been, that have been done that using that uses leads to, to as a process monitoring system in laser based processing. So uh, I found that uh, less work have been done actually that applying leads to be as a process monitoring system, especially in laser based process. So this is the research methodology. Uh, I start with the sample preparation and we have the laser uh, alloying process. And then two kind of observation we, we are doing. Uh, so one of the imaging system and we have the spectroscopy system. And the last is the data uh, that observation where we send the, the, the samples for preparation. So this is the laser, uh, the result and discussion. This is uh, the sub topics, but I, put, uh, I didn't go into this because it took uh, so long time. So basically it is Firstly, uh, I characterize the process and optimize the process based on the physics behind it. 
So what is the physics behind the laser? Like what is the interaction? What is the mechanism of interaction of the laser that induces the, the, the volume itself on top of the laser? So in the, in the end, we have a laser surface allowing process monitoring by using lips. So different uh, process uh, parameters can be simultaneously monitored by using uh, lips techniques. So the conclusion is very quite uh, fast by far. <laughs> <laughs> so we have demonstrated uh, the feasibility of using the switch and the laser for laser allowing process. Let's what have been done using the switch and the laser process because the switch and the laser it causes uh, vaporization and, and Actually, it um, basically in, in, in the other process, they actually destroy the sample. It's, it's destructive, this uh, destruct in destruction in, in, in nature. So, but I have managed to, to use the same the same laser for loading process. And then, so I have optimized the laser surface drawing process based on the uh, two parameters, which is the coating uh, thickness and also the energy. And the analysis from the plasma that forms on top of the near surface region of aluminum. Is, is being characterized spectroscopically and then the information of the, the process is then the correlated with the finding uh, learning uh, properties. So I think that's all.